Hi, and welcome to a Real Estate Minute brought to you by New Century Homes. With a quick view of some opportunities you can read about in the Denver Post this weekend in this brisk spring market. I'm Mark Samuelson, and this weekend you'll find stories on how you can find new homes that are ready now in attractive areas of Thornton at prices that may be considerably less than communities west of I-25, about a neighborhood of brand new homes that look like homes built in the, back in the 1950s, and about how the Colorado Rockies have struck a deal with the Metropolitan Baseball Stadium District to keep the team residing at Coors Field for many years to come. That latter story by Denver Post sports writer Nick Grokey describes a $200 million, 30-year lease that's the culmination of four years of difficult negotiations on where the team would head as its current 22-year lease ends. The lease by the Metropolitan Baseball Stadium District, the state division that owns Coors Field, is worth about $2.5 million per year and allows the Rockies to lease and develop a plot of land directly south of the stadium. For that, the team will play the district $125 million for 99 years. A spokesperson for the district noted that taxpayers won't have to pay a dime for the field for 30 years. You can find that story at denverpost.com. With a new baseball season just now arriving, crowds were already turning out in numbers last week to see the clean lines of mid-century modern architecture. After my Denver Post story on a 24-home custom enclave close to Columbine Country Club, Wilder Lane, just south of Bowles near South Platte Canyon Road, is all ranch, all mid-mod design, a hop, skip, and a jump from Littleton's downtown dining scene. Developer Kurt Stedron with New Century Modern fell in love with mid-mod as a kid and now has a half dozen mid-mod homes completed, including a model you can tour this weekend, 2,200 square feet with two bedrooms on the main level, with a tall, sleek entertaining area, outdoor living spaces, and a finished basement with added entertaining area and a guest suite. New Century prices that home at $979,000, surrounded by similar wide lots where you could have your own mid-mod ranch created. Long before Denver's current lust for mid-mod architecture evidenced by new homes you're seeing in Lohi, Cherry Creek North, and Hilltop, Denver had period neighborhoods dating from when Dwight Eisenhower was president that showcased the mid-mod look, including Crisana Park in Denver and Arapahoe Hills a mile north of Wilder Lane. Stedron at New Century says he wants this new neighborhood to be part of that legacy. Buyers love the look. They've picked up Wilder Lane's first four homes in the Enclave, including one that closed last week, and now Stedron is launching four more specs, each one a unique mid-mod design. Kentwood agent Jason Cummings says buyers also like being a golf cart ride away from Columbine Country Club, getting a makeover of its clubhouse now, and they like how close this is to downtown Littleton's array of bistros, wine bars, and taverns. Wilder Lane residents will get full yard landscape maintenance and snow removal as part of their package. Those homes are open Friday through Sunday, noon until 5 p.m. west of downtown Littleton. Take Bowles west past Santa Fe, a mile to South Middlefield Road, and turn south one long block to Wilder Lane. Or visit the website at wilderlane24.com. I'm Mark Samuelson. You can see my stories on this and other real estate happenings at dphomes.today.